Hi, I'm Joe Barrett, I'm 19 years old, and we're going to show you why we think Stockport deserves to be one of the Porter's pilots. Last year, Stockport had over 10 million visitors to the town, boosted by the opening of Primark in Merseyway Shopping Centre. Despite this, the number of empty shops in some areas of the town centre is on the increase. But it isn't only shops that are closing down, it's pubs, clubs and restaurants as well. And this has resulted in decreasing numbers of people coming to these parts of the town to socialise and shop. The architecture and buildings in the market and underbanks area in particular are unique and full of character. And we believe that if good quality entertainment and social venues were supported, this would attract young people and creative entrepreneurs and the area could potentially develop in the same way as Manchester's Northern Quarter. It's a really good place, like, um, yeah, in general to look at. It's quite beautiful as well. Like from up the um, Old Market Hall, it's really beautiful. But it's just like quite quiet and like everything's shut down. It should be more lively and I think it'll be a really good place to hang out if it's like really lively. Stockport's full of creative people, but one of the things it's lacking is a social hub where these people can come together and collaborate. One of the ideas we've got is to turn an empty building like this into a digital and visual art centre, which can be a creative space that people can use for things like music, film, exhibitions and workshops. We think it would really transform the Market Street by bringing a new atmosphere, a new vibe and new people to the town. I think Stockport already has a large creative population, but it's disparate. So to spend the money on making it more cohesive would, I think, would, would be greater than the sum of its parts. Here we are in the Stockport Plaza, Stockport's 1932 Super Cinema Art Deco Variety Theatre. Um, very important venue for the people of Stockport. It was saved 11 years ago with the support of Stockport Council. It's run almost entirely by volunteers, so it's very much at the hub of the local community. We show classic projected films at present, but we want to get into digital projection for a number of reasons. First of all, it's a great way of local community groups marketing to other local people. Uh, it's also a way of us, us showing modern digital films, but also for conferencing, for showing live productions from the National Theatre, Bolshoi Ballet. If we had a digital projector, that would take us to that next step and enable us to help generate more business and more economy for Stockport and definitely for the evening economy. I think there's definitely a potential for small independent traders within Stockport. Um, anything that can be done to help those, whether that be mentoring, whether that be uh, encouraging people use of pop-up shops or providing a small retail area where the small units can actually set up like a business incubation area, then that's going to benefit Stockport. I think the individual businesses that have tried and a lot of them have failed. They can't do it on their own. It needs more of a, a centralised, concerted effort, a supported effort to focus on uh, the whole market area and, and bring it alive. There are lots of brilliant people already doing some great stuff in the town centre and the council is absolutely committed to working with them and building on the success that they're, they're starting to achieve. We will more than match the investment that the Porter's Pilot will enable us to make and will continue to invest in the town to guarantee its future and to work with those businesses, those residents, those people who just want to live and play and shop in the town centre to make sure that we make the very most of it. I think the market area of Stockport is it's got a lot of potential. Well, I hope it has because I'm opening a shop. Stockport just needs a bit more for the youth to be able to express themselves. I think I think having this shop will uh, it'll really benefit like other businesses and other shops around this area, which is why we need to we need to get these shops. We need to fill them up. We need to get more shops open, more different shops, more unique shops. We're part of a really exciting initiative in the area. We're going to take one of the vacant properties on the market square itself and we're going to put um, some of our most creative young graduates and final year students and postgraduates into the space. I'm a Stockport resident myself and I can see that actually this area is has huge potential for young creatives. There's a lot of businesses over the seven years that I've seen that have come and they've gone. We'd like to see a lot of the empty shops reopened, whether it's, it's community activity, whether they took on a short term lease, at least there's something being done, you know, um, and there's somewhere for the children to go. Stockport is trying to improve its town centre and there are things happening, but it's obvious to everyone in the town that a lot more needs to be done. The Porter's Pilot Initiative has brought the local community together to focus on the areas of the town that need the most help. We see even more clearly the grassroots investment that's being made by independent businesses, volunteers and residents. Local people are already collaborating on projects in the market and underbanks area 
and we feel this area has the most potential. With our town team, we decided to focus our pilot projects here to support this investment, which include help for independent retailers and businesses, a creative hub and events and activities to attract new people into the town centre. Change is happening in Stockport, but we need the Porter's Pilot to help us with our pioneering story of grassroots growth. 